Do you want to become a professional athlete, YouTuber, content creator? Then you need to make it your top priority. <laughs> yeah. Not sick. We are five hours into the day. I'm kind of hitting a wall. My head is just pounding from all these bee stings or the wasp stings. It's like, it's, I'm really feeling it. It's tough and I'm covered in bug bites. It's been raining super hard for at least an hour now. So we're pretty over it. We're definitely getting rained out. Well, the storm just hit extra hard last night and look at this, all that compression I just filled in, completely washed out overnight. This is actually insane. All right, smoothest run I can do. Let's get it. There's tire marks all over the place. We didn't even finish packing this last night. I came back this morning, tire marks everywhere. Pretty frustrating. I am feeling so defeated right now. I'm pretty frustrated and pretty over it. And I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, Iceland now. It's pretty amazing out here. I mean, we got crazy canyons that way. A big waterfall drops off this river here. And then those crazy painted hills behind me. So I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. Well, I've been out here on my own for almost two hours now and there's been no signs of anybody. I'm really hoping they get here soon because I'm starting to get a little stir crazy. I'm starting to get concerned that they're not gonna show up at all. There's three things you need to do to make this work. You have to be willing to work really hard, for one. You have to be willing to make sacrifices that other people aren't willing to make so you can do what you love. And you, sometimes you just have to be able to roll with things last minute. You have to be very flexible and patient. Expect the unexpected, embrace challenges and failures, and accept that all and any roadblocks are part of your story oh. to success. Yeah, wow. I'm fine. Yes, Luckily it's soft. To achieve something like this is not normal. You must be willing to sacrifice a lot more than most people and give up anything and anybody who's holding you back. If this feels unrealistic, or if you struggle to prioritize doing what you love without guilt, then you really need to seriously reconsider who you are surrounding yourself with. Do not feel guilty for hating your daily job or not performing as well as you would like in school. Just remember, you are not lazy. You are just doing something that doesn't excite you on a day-to-day -day basis. Don't let feelings of self-doubt get in the way of your dreams. So many people are unhappy or feel guilty for chasing their dreams because they value someone else's opinion more than they value their own. But these are your dreams we're talking about. It's devastating to see your grandma, your parents, your friends, or whoever it is direct you away from your passion. That means you still let someone else dictate, based on their opinion, the actions you make. This is your life. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> That was sick. Everybody has drive and passion for something. Something that runs so deep they could do it every day for the rest of their life without a question. For me, that's riding my bike, building a business around the things I love, and sharing my experience with the world to inspire others. You need to surround yourself with people who are optimistic. <laughs> Cut out those who are taking away from your goals and find new friends predicated on what you want to be. When I first started pursuing mountain biking as a career, I focused in on this and met other mountain bikers I looked up to for years, and I eventually became friends with them. I was that fueled progression in my riding, and I became immersed in a culture and part of a community that would push me to new levels. It changed my life. Oh, dude! <laughs> I was gonna do a trick, but I was going like that. So I Super no footer. Cut out the noise, cut out the negativity, and soak up all the positive energy you can find. Please stop being fearful of judgment from others because if you're comfortable taking on someone else's point of view on how you should live your life, then you deserve to lose. Do what lights you up and go full tunnel vision with it. If the passion is there, you'll love the process of putting in the work as much as the finish line. Nobody watching this right now knows anybody successful at all that hasn't put in insane amounts of work. I want you to love what you do as much as I do. Get every voice out of your head besides yourself and love yourself. It's never too late. Get after it.